Yo, what's going on guys? And today I wanted to talk about who will the Cleveland Cavaliers be signing this offseason? So I want to hear your guys' thoughts down below. What do you guys think of the video and who should they be signing? Obviously the first guy is our man, Jared Allen. They're going to have to pay him because I think Evan Mobley will be like, how do you put it? Nick, not Nick Mobley. Evan Mobley won't follow them. And I just blanked right there. So let's just get into guys who I think they'll be able to sign. And they're going to have a mid-level exception of about $10 million in cap space of this actually upcoming season of $18 million. And if they can move the books of $31 million contract, $31.3 million of Kevin Love, that would open up basically $60 million, $58 million in cap space. And Hardenstein's going to go into free agency. So Jared Allen, probably going to fill up that whole $18 million. So they're going to be at 112 And they're not going to bring back Matthew Dellavedova. He might just retire because of injuries. I love him. And you could say maybe they trade Colin Sexton because they're going to draft Jalen Green. And I think that's, yeah. And then there's Jetty. Some, that's what, someone said it's Jetty Osman. And he's there so what i believe they're gonna do is I, they need a backup point guard and a backup point guard to keep an eye out for is tj mcconnell or alex caruso but i see caruso kind of being some other team going for caruso it just seems like he might not be I really see like maybe the utah jazz going for alex caruso and him wanting to be more of uh, like having a prominent role or something really utah jazz won't be going for him but yeah i i've made a video on that so i just want to stick to that but i really like tj mcconnell because it would give him depth at the guard position which has been an issue for the cavaliers for years and he's a quality second unit piece he's much of a shooter or like a scorer but he does distribute the ball and is a very efficient when he does take shots he's coming off a career year with 8.6 points per game 3.7 rebounds 6.6 .6 assists and 1.9 steals per game and he shot 55.9 percent from the field and 31.3 percent from deep he only made 35 30, not 35 3.5 million dollars last year so it's probably going to be in the same area and i think that'd be great another guy that if they do potentially move on from kevin love jeff green would slide into the power forward position and it'd be pretty great it would be a reunion from the 2017-2018 season where he spent one year on the team. But he could be a guy who was be great for them. Like, he isn't a great rebounder at 6'8", but he makes up for it as a 41.2% three-point shooter this past year. And, you know, it's tough to gauge because he just made $2.5 million for the Cavs. He probably, or not the Cavs, the Nets. So he probably cost the Cavs maybe 5 or $7 million. And he's a guy right now in the in the regular season we average 11 points four rebounds and one and a half assists so i think he'd be a good pickup for them and somebody that they would really enjoy having on their roster i think the Cavs need veterans to help this team go from rebuilding to playoff push you know and guys who could do that is like caruso is the younger guy so maybe you want the younger guy but taylor horn tucker's the lakers i think they could get yeah, he's a restricted free agent, so they, the Lakers will make a qualifying offer. So it's it's kind of, you don't know if that'll be ha happening. So I think Taylor Horton Tucker will be awesome. They would love him, but will that be what happens? You know, it's debatable because you don't know if this team is actually going to bite on matching Taylor Horton Tucker or if you're just gonna get cucked. So what I think the best thing they could do is, I don't know if you guys hear my dog downstairs. People are just like screaming outside. Yes, she's just losing her shit. Either way, Doug McDermott is an elite, like outside shooter that I think he, yeah, he's a de terrible defender, but his shooting would be so great. Spencer did what he's coming off a knee surgery and I think he'll be too expensive. Chris Dunn could opt out, but I think he's just going to opt in because I don't know if anybody else is going to pay him $5 million. Denzel Valentine, Daniel Tice, Austin Rivers, Dante Exum, Reggie Bullock, Otto Porter Jr., Stanley Johnson, Josh Hart, who's actually one of Larry Nance's best friends, are all players that could go for. I really would like Josh Hart going out there, 
Reggie Bullock would be cool. Otto Porter Jr. would be dope. Imagine sliding in Otto Porter Jr. at the small forward position. I'm actually selling myself an Otto Porter Jr. You have 18 million in cap space. 18 is probably going to go there. 10 million. I think you should give 10 million to Otto Porter Jr. Or see if you can pay Otto Porter Jr. like seven and then pay like four to TJ McConnell. Yeah. What do you guys think? Austin. Not Austin. Otto Porter Jr. And for tj mcconnell to replay basically to be your new backup point guard and small forward and you hopefully can move on from kevin love and you keep jared allen obviously i want to hear uh, is that terrible i feel like it's not the worst i feel like there's definitely worse deals out there and yeah that's i think that's be the best thing i want to hear those thoughts down below guys but yeah that's really what's it for me today i'm gonna head out it was a short little video peace out